Hello, I'm David Liesenfeld, pastor at Rock Valley Christian Church, here with today's prayer challenge, and it comes to us from the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verses 12 to 14, that say, Not that I've already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Jesus Christ has also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. I want us to notice in verse 13 what it says again. For I do one thing, one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. You know, one of the hardest things that we face in life is all the baggage that we carry with us from day to day to day. So often we can have regret about what we did and wrong decisions we made, the mistakes that we made yesterday, a month ago, a year ago, five, ten. How many years ago is it for you? That you carry on regret, you carry on baggage from the past that is affecting who you are today. And what Paul is saying is, don't be a victim to the past. You've got to let go of the things behind. And remember who's speaking this, the Apostle Paul, one who actually was, as Saul, found putting Christians to death, persecuting them, putting them in prison. If anybody knew about past wrongs and had guilt and shame about it, it was the Apostle Paul. But he is giving us the wisdom of the ages and the wisdom of God. We cannot change our yesterdays. We cannot change our past, but we can learn from our past, but we don't need to be a victim to it. And so how are you going to live today pressing forward toward the upward call that you have in Jesus Christ? Who are you going to be today? What kind of life are you going to live in serving God, in honoring Jesus Christ, in being a blessing to others? See, no matter what you did yesterday, today is a new day, and the mercies of the Lord are new this very day, so that you can go on with the life that God has blessed you with today, so that you can be a blessing to others. And what you find in so doing is that the things of the past become learning experiences. They hold no weight on you today, for the yoke of Jesus Christ is light and it is easy, and He wants you to carry it forward to love your neighbor as yourself, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And that is something that you can do today, no matter what sins might have beset you in the past. So let's pray today for God's freedom from the things that are past. Let's pray for His inspiration, His creativity, and His power to press forward in our calling in Jesus Christ to be a blessing to God and to others this day. Let's pray.